Thank you for visiting the help desk at Redline Controls. This presentation will explain one of the many features of our electronic counters, scaling. Your counter scale factor is nothing more than a multiplier applied to the input signal pulses so that a specific engineering unit like feet, meters, and so on can be represented. Scaling is needed in almost all applications of counters. However, the most common application is used for measuring length. Before I explain the equation used to determine your scale factor, let's go over some common tips. First, your scale factor should be as close to or equal to, but not exceed the value of 1. In our first example, you can only enter in up to five digits to the right of the decimal point. An extremely low number, like 0.000083, could only be entered as 0.00008, and your scale display value would not be accurate. If the scale factor is greater than 1, you will lose count resolution and skip numbers on the display. Like our second example shows, every time one pulse is registered in the counter, 4 will be displayed. Our progression will then be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. If we entered a set point of 11, the counter will skip over that value going from 8 to 12 and miss the set point. This greatly reduces the amount of set point values that can be entered. In this case, only multiples of 4 would trigger the set point. Second, some red line counters have a scale multiplier that is incorporated to make a small scale factor more recognizable. In our example, our scale factor without any multiplier is 0 .000083. With a scale multiplier of 0 .01 added, our scale factor now becomes 0 .0083. Our equation for determining the scale factor is desired display scale over pulses per unit measure. The desired display scale tells the counter how accurate we want our value displayed, whether it is in whole numbers, tenths, hundredths, or so on. Whatever resolution we choose, the number entered into the equation represents the whole number equivalent of the fraction. If we want to show in whole numbers, then 1 is used, in tenths, then 10 is used, and so on. Pulses per unit measure is how many input pulses come into the counter from your sensor. If we were measuring tenths of a foot, we would need to know how many pulses come into our counter per foot. Our example shows this application requiring feet to the tenths to be displayed. We see that our sensor gives off 120 pulses per foot. So our equation becomes 10 over 120 or 0 0.08333. When we add a scale multiplier of 0.1 in the programming, our scale factor then becomes 0.83333. Once again, we at Redline Controls thank you for visiting our help desk. If you need any further assistance, please visit our website at www.redlion-controls.com for the latest news, new product information, technical specifications, application solutions, and much, much more.